Heather McDermott for Area TV. We're here at NAB and we're introducing relighting in Autodesk Flame Premium 2012. This new technology actually takes look development into the third dimension by giving artists total control over the final look of their scene in finishing. Only Autodesk offers advanced relighting tools that allow you to manipulate the look of composites using technology that takes advantage of the inherent 3D information that is present in live action footage. With relighting in Flame Premium 2012, artists can manipulate light, add shading to live action and 3D generated elements, create 3D cast shadows, or add lighting effects such as lens flares and volumetric edge rays all using tools that respect the relationship between the objects present in the 3D scene. The result is a new way to create the look and feel of a scene in post. With relighting tools, artists can create both realistic and highly stylized looks quickly and interactively. Relighting tools in Flame Premium are part of an evolution that is happening in finishing. These tools cross boundaries between once standalone creative tasks by introducing powerful new creative workflows that sit between traditional color grading, visual effects, and 3D compositing. We spoke with lead product designer Philippe Soirot about this evolution of creative finishing, the impact of convergence has on the industry, and how Autodesk designs its creative finishing tools. So the trends that you know are really obvious is that you have a lot of grading tools in the market that are uh, more and more actually uh, providing functionality that are really on the edge of grading and are closer to finishing and and vice versa and we think that really ultimately the the best way of really doing 2d is in an environment that is 3d aware not necessarily because you want to deal with geometries and stuff like that uh, not necessarily because your project involves cg it's just because you know the nature of what you capture in the real world is 3d and therefore if you can do things that you know in an environment that kind of understands that dimension it can actually even be an advantage for something that is today as 2D as you can you know, imagine, uh, which is grading. The interesting learning for us was really that colorists wanted more visual effects type tools and that they wanted more editorial type tools and that there was a convergence in the technology. I think it's important not to confuse convergence in skills with convergence in technology. What we really saw was they wanted the same kinds of tools. They didn't want restriction on their tool sets. They said, you know what, we want tracking systems, we want really advanced keying systems so we can better isolate things. We want to do 3D lighting. We want to, we want to have access to these kind of tools and technologies. And relighting for us is the ability to basically bring the 2D, recreate the 3D, and, and then change the lighting within the scene. To be clear, relighting isn't a single thing. It's a collection of tools that, that exist inside of the 3D compositing environment of Flame Premium. So it's lights, it's shadows, it's, it's lens flares, it's rays, it's image-based lighting, it's manipulating the, the, the layers in, in space so that you can create these effects where light plays off of different parts of the scene depending on where they are in, in their relationship in 3D. So it's taking advantage of the real 3D nature of that scene to allow you to do creative things with it. And now that Flame Premium has introduced relighting, we wanted to find out how artists think it might change the way they work. We spoke with Vico Sharabani about the creative possibilities he imagines when he looks at the capabilities of Flame Premium 2012. I, I don't see just rays and lens flares. I see an interactive environment. I see something that, that uh, elements are, are minded to each other. And that's very exciting for me that, that Autodesk is taking that step to uh, figure out those relationships within the action environment and I can't wait to see what, what's going to come out next from it. We also spoke to Autodesk's own Maya guru, Daryl Obert, about the implications of relighting when finishing with CG generated content. It lets you do a lot of really cool little tricks that they save you time and give you a little bit more creative freedom really, really far downstream after the renders are already completed. You can layer on top of that all that cool relighting stuff. So if you wanted to get some lens flares or some pops happening, you know, you can do that. And because you have these 3D assets that are in there, the way they look is really realistic because it's, it's done in a true 3D space, which is really different than if you were doing it with like a filter on, on a 2D image with an alpha channel or something. So the tools are sweet. They really are. One of the things I think people might not realize about the relighting tools uh, right away when they look at them is that these all work in stereoscopic 3D space. So if you're finishing stereoscopic content and you're adding any of the lighting artifacts, the lens flares, the volumetric effects, these all work in a true stereoscopic space as well. So all you have to do is add an FBX camera to a scene, 
and then render the left and right eye, and you've got lighting effects and, and lens flare effects and all of these lighting, uh, relighting tools working in true stereoscopic space. So it really makes it easy to, to change the look and feel of your scene regardless of what kind of content you're delivering. Relighting is available in the now shipping 2012 release of Flame Premium. For more information about relating and all the features in Flame Premium, visit autodesk.com/flamepremium. Thanks for watching NAB 2011 on Area TV.